What's good, everyone? It's your homie Hermit. We're back with another reaction. I've seen this one time and time again, and you guys always specified that when I check out Sabaton No Bullets Fly, it had to be the animated story video. So here we are. I can't wait to check it out. I get World War II vibes. Looks like World War II bombers. So let's jump right into it. I can't wait to listen to this and learn. I love learning through listening to these songs, dude. That's what made Epic Rap Battles it's of December. History. Uh, Epic Rap Battles of History so big for me when I was younger. So I learned so much from watching them. So let's hop into this. It's December the 20th, 1943. And in the freezing air, high above Germany, Second Lieutenant Charles Charlie Brown is at the controls of his B-17F, the old pub. At 11.30, approaching the target of the Focke Wolf plant near Bremen, the pub is rocked as four explosions go off right in front of the B-17. A cry comes across the intercom. We're hit. In the plexiglass nodes, a huge hole had been made. An icy cold wind was being blown inside, making freezing conditions for the crew. Oh. Engine two had been hit, and co-pilot Spencer Pinky Luke let out an expletive as he noticed a huge hole in the right wing. Releasing their bombs over the factory, the crew turned to the north, planning to head over the coast, then turn west for home. With one engine out and engine four now faulty, the pub started to fall back from the formation with another damaged plane. Sam Blackie Blackford in the ball turret watched as it disappeared into a cloud bank. There was an orange flash in the cloud. Bandits, Eki shouted, as five BF-109s streaked from the cloud bank. Then another cry. Bandits, as eight FW-190s were spotted in formation ahead of the pub. Sergeant Bertram Frenchy Coulomb in the turret shot the 190 out of the sky. The navigator, Al Doc Sadik, took out the second. Pinky reported that engine three had been hit. That left just one engine at full power. The BF-109s attacked the pub from behind, swarming all over. But due to the cold wind running through the pub, most of the guns were frozen. In a turn now, the pub was repeatedly hit, taking extreme damage and killing the tail gunner. A shell penetrated and exploded near the waste gunners, injuring the crew and creating a huge hole. The oxygen supply was taken out and the pub spun towards the ground. With the crew unconscious due to lack of oxygen, the B-17 fell for four miles. Charlie started to come around and grabbed the controls, pulling back as the plane continued to fall. 5,000 feet, 4,000 feet, 3,000 feet. Just moments from hitting the earth, the plane pulled up, almost scraping the trees as it did. Holy shit. One hell of an intro. I loved that. That like that entire thing could be a series all by itself on YouTube. I'd watch the hell out of that. From down below, one enemy spotted. So hurry up, rearm and refuel. But through the bombers damage that bring. See wounded men scared to the Fly 
Is he guiding them back to their guys? Because, like, why didn't he shoot them down yet? I figured, like, the reason the AA guns didn't shoot at him was, oh, one of ours is next to him, don't shoot at him, you know? The story was kept secret until 1986, when Brown started the search for the German pilot who had shown mercy on that December day all those years ago. That's awesome. In 1990, Brown received a letter from a man named Stigler, who was living in Canada. Stigler explained that he had been the pilot of the German fighter who had escorted Ye Old Pub. This video is of their first meeting. Franz, what were your feelings when you met again for the uh, first time? I was so happy as we met that I dropped him. How about that? Most of these things. The, the fact that he risked his life really in many ways, and I wrote him in a letter. I said, if you uh, if you made a habit of feeling sorry for Palmer Cruz flying up alongside them, I am sure that you were shot down many times. But it was a not only the audacity that he came up to us and uh, then recognizing the threat. If someone had seen him and reported him, it could have been a death sentence. Franz gifted Charlie a book, and inside the inscription read, In 1940, I lost my only brother as a night fighter. On the 20th of December, four days before Christmas, I had the chance to save a B-17 from her destruction. A plane so badly damaged, it was a wonder that she was still flying. The pilot, Charlie Brown, is for me as precious as my brother was. Thanks, Charlie. Your brother, Franz. In 2008, within a few months of each other, the two firm friends went on their final journey. Franz Stigler never got the Knight's Cross, but as he always said, he got something better. Hi, my name is Jovita Ten Stiegler. I would like to thank Sabaton and your song, No Bullets Fly. Because of this, the story of my father will live on. See you on your next concert tour. Safe journey, gentlemen, and again, thank you. That's badass. That's got me all teary-eyed. That's cool as fuck, dude. I love that. That might have been one of the coolest videos I've checked out for this channel so far. Uh, that was badass, dude. Ah, uh, that was a good way to end today's videos. I really like that. The humanity can still come out in the middle of wars and brutal fighting, you know? It's awesome. Let me know what you guys thought. Did you did you tear up like that the first time you watched it? Be honest. <laughs>
Uh, I really, really enjoyed that one. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you'd like to hear next. Say what's up in the Discord. Check us out on a live stream sometime. Big shout out to all the Patreon supporters. You all have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.